thrilling adventure of The Shadow and his relentless fight against the forces of evil, demonstrating to young and old alike that crime does not pay. The Shadow, a serious character who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Now, listen to Air Freight Breaker. Johnny! Johnny Fresno! It's a long time since you came down to the waterfront. Come on in, Johnny. Same old Harry McCarty. What's on your mind, Harry? Why did you call me? Help yourself to refreshments, Johnny. We can talk about old times. How's the freight business at the airport, Johnny? That's going great, Harry. Yeah, you got quite a setup there. Well, you always were a guy with big ideas, Johnny. Panoramic Airways, Flight 14, arriving on schedule at gate 12. Fresno Overland Trade Agency. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, sir, it's been picked up. It's already on the road. Yeah? Yeah. You're welcome. Yes, sir, can I? Shipwreck. Eddie, Eddie, sir, can Eddie, they sent you with the map. What you doing in Johnny Fresno's office? Working here. You're still one of his boys. Johnny's clean. Please? Johnny Fresno clean? You ought to be a comic, Eddie. Say. Hey. What are you doing here, shipwreck? Well, uh, I'm doing somebody a favor. After this, I'm going to have some place and take it easy. What do you mean, shipwreck? Uh, nothing personal, Eddie. Just a job and getting paid for it. I got to rough you up a bit, Eddie. Rough me up? What for? I done nothing. Eddie, uh, I, I won't make it too bad out of kind of we used to be good friends. No, please. Uh, yeah. Too bad it has to be you, Eddie. <laughs> See, Eddie? That's all it has to be. Well, it was a nice vacation trip, Lamont, but I'm glad to be back home. And look who's here to meet you. Commissioner Weston. Oh, you shouldn't have come all the way out here just to meet little old us. What happened, Slane? I've got nothing else to do. Ah, you have crime under control, Commissioner? What crime, Mr. Cranston? Uh, yes, sir. And what is it? Trouble at the trade office. Somebody just beat up Eddie Salk and the clerk. See what I mean, Mr. Cranston? All right, Sergeant, let's go to what we call the scene of the crime. Uh, mind if we come along? Be my guest. Duncan, who did it? Uh, Eddie, who did it? Why? What? Uh, 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 We'd better get him to the hospital. Hello. Yeah, just a minute. It's for you, Johnny. Your office knew you were here? Yeah, I left word. Hello? What? We'll see that he gets the best of care. Right. One of my boys just got roughed up, Harry. No kidding, Johnny. Say, it looks like you're going to need protection so these things won't happen. You need a partner, Johnny. Think of it, Johnny. You and me together. Nobody's going to make trouble for us. That's what I wanted to talk about. Who roughed Eddie up? Johnny, how would I know? These things happen, you know that. Sometimes things get much worse. Think it over, Johnny. We'll talk again tomorrow. Yeah, you need protection for your business. I think you ought to make me a partner. And to think that I was afraid that Shrevey would forget to pick us up at the airport. Forget about us, would you, Shrevey? Oh, hey, Mr. Cranston? No, I wouldn't forget, I wouldn't. Hey, what's with Eddie Stokes? One of the other hats, he said Eddie's been beaten up, he said. 
I wonder why. Sounds like somebody wants to sell Johnny personal protection like in the old days, it sounds. What some people will do to make a living. Shrevey, whatever became of Shipwreck Malone? Shipwreck? What made you think of him what made you, Mr. Cranston? Did Eddie put the finger on Shipwreck, did he put? No, not actually. But I think he was trying to before he lost consciousness. That was my impression. I don't know if the inspector had the same impression. But where is Shipwreck these days? Mr. Cranston, he lives at the Hotel St. John on Low Street. Three blocks from here he lives. Well, Mark Shrevey is so well informed about these underworld characters. Yeah, I think we should be concerned about you, Shrevey. Oh, me? I just picked up information I picked up. That's all, Mr. Cranston. Well, drop me at the next corner. Sure. Marco, I think it's time for the Shadow to make a social call. Why, here I come. Yeah. Yeah, me and one of them islands, I could see it now. Going somewhere, Shipwreck? I see you're packing. Who's that? I can't see you. The shadow. <laughs> oh, no. Not you. Not you. You remember me? What do you want with me? Listen, I'm out of the rackets. I retired. You weren't retired an hour ago, Shipwreck. You were very much in business at the airport. Airport? What's this airport bit? Well, very rough with Eddie Sulkin. What are you talking about? I ain't seen Eddie in years. Who hired you to do that job? No, nobody hired me for that job. Nobody. Sometime today, Eddie will recover consciousness. And he'll identify you. Listen, I got a plan to catch. Before Eddie identifies you? That's where you're wrong, Shadow. Eddie won't think of me. He wouldn't do that. That's not the way we do things. So get lost. I got to finish packing. Think it over, shipwreck. When Eddie identifies you, you'll get no help from your boss. You'll be on your own. Think about it. <laughs> He's gone. He said I'd be thinking. No, the boss wouldn't let me take the rap. But I better make certain. Sure. Scotty, this is Shipwreck. I want to talk to you. I let Shipwreck think I'd left, but I stayed and listened to him telephone Harry McCarthy. Lamont, shouldn't you at least go home and unpack before getting involved with these things? Shrevey took your luggage to your apartment. I anticipated you'd have some coffee made here. Do I really make such alluring coffee? No, but you're nice to look at. Oh, isn't that what girls are for? Well, we can discuss the details of that later. Oh, you mean you're going to abandon me? A shadow is going to drop in on Johnny Fresno. Has Fresno actually reformed? Hmm? So the story goes. How quaint. Always something happening when you try to go straight. Hello, Johnny. What? Who's that? <laughs> shadow. You? How are things going, Johnny? I guess you know you wouldn't be here. You're running into problems with Terry McCarthy, huh? So you know that, too. Why don't you go to the police, Johnny? I don't know. McCarty can ruin my business. He wants in. If you don't let him in? If I don't, I may as well close up shop. You can't fight it. I know that. Sooner or later, this had to happen. The shadow helped you once, Johnny. Gave you a chance to go straight. And it was great. I'm making more money being honest. You have brains, Johnny. You are convinced that you should put your brains to good purpose instead of wasting it on a life of crime. Maybe I was just scared of you. You're not scared now. No. Because you're part of decent society now. Doesn't that make you feel good? I want to stay this way, Shadow, but... Did McCarthy give you a time limit? Yeah, 24 hours. Call him, Johnny. Set up a meeting at his office on the waterfront at 11.30. Well, I didn't expect you down on the waterfront our first night back. That's Johnny Fresno's car over there. He must have just gone into McCarthy's office. So I'll drive around the block a few times and pick you up here at exactly 10 after the hour. I notified Commissioner Weston, and he'll be getting here in just a few minutes. Don't let him see you. Johnny Fresno. Right on time, Johnny. Oh, I meet Shipwreck, one of my advisors. Say hello to Mr. Fresno, Shipwreck. Hello, Mr. Fresno. Yeah. You carry a gun, Johnny? I never carried one, Harry. Not even in the old days. Uh, just asking. You figured you needed a bodyguard for this meeting, huh, Harry? No, no, Johnny. Shipwreck here. He got worried about a little matter, so I told him to come on over. Yeah, I see so, you thought my proposition over, Johnny? How do you see things, Harry? 
I ought to know your point of view. Simple. You build up a nice front. Legitimate business, coast to coast. You're smart. So, Johnny, how soon you figure we can make it really pay off? Contraband, smuggling. You and me together, Johnny. We can make it big. Harry, I'm big enough. Hey, shipwreck. You hear that? Daddy. Sounds like Mr. Fresno don't want you as a partner. Johnny, is that how it is? You boys catch on real fast. Maybe Mr. Fresno ought to have his mind changed, McCarty. Oh, Johnny don't want that kind of trouble, do you, Johnny? What kind of trouble do you have in mind, Harry? Wow, you're tough, yeah. But I'm tough. And shipwreck is tough. Two against one, Johnny. That's lousy odds. And me thinking we just have a cozy little chat. Okay, shipwreck, take him. I said take him! <laughs> Get hold of it. <laughs> Who's that? The Shadow, Harry. It's time to even the odds. The Shadow? The invisible guy. Now take it easy, Shipwreck. Everybody just take it easy. I got a gun, see? Now don't move, Johnny, or I'll blast you. Who is he, says, Johnny? That's it. Everybody cooperative. Okay, Shadow. I don't see you, but I know where you are. You got hold of the shipwreck, but you're a sitting duck. If you pull that trigger, you may hit shipwreck. Be careful about that. Yeah, no oh, super carry. You could hit me. So why don't you hit him, shipwreck? Suppose I give you a push. You okay, Fresno? Never better, Commissioner. You're alone? <laughs> Not quite. But you can take over now, Commissioner. I should have known you were here. All right, McCarty. You and your muscle friend better get the advice of counsel. As we have a lot of questions for you. Ha, ha, ha.